decided I don't want Democrats to call me Congresswoman. I want them to acknowledge that man is a gender neutral term and they can call me Congressman Bobert. <laughs> Colorado Representative Lauren Boebert getting a lot of attention for her strong views on the Equality Act and plenty of pushback as well. Congressman or woman, Boebert joins us now. Uh, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you so much, Shannon. And you know, it's just too easy to trigger these liberals. Uh, it, just something as simple as saying that man is a gender neutral term uh, has totally ignited in the United States of America. Uh, but I, I'm starting to enjoy this here in DC because it's just so easy. Yeah, I get the feeling that you are. Uh, to those who love or do not love your positions, uh, they're definitely getting uh, front row seats to your opinions. And listen, that's what you're here to do. Uh, I want to play something from one of your Democratic counterparts about the Equality Act. And he says um, there are very important protections in there and there are sets of rights that need to be balanced. This is uh, Congressman David Cicilline. You know, we were very careful in the Equality Act to ensure that the religious exemptions which currently exist remain undisturbed. We have two interests that are protected here, the right to religious expression and the deeply held uh, commitment to ending discrimination. The Equality Act achieves both of those things. So he says the protections are there both for those who need protection from discrimination, LGBTQ interests, and I think that people who are of deep religious faith would agree there needs to be no discrimination against those people. But does this bill balance the two sides in a way that you think is workable? Shannon, we have a great document in the United States of America. It's called the Constitution, and the 14th Amendment says that we are all equal under the law, and Democrats continuously want to uh, create uh, upper echelons and just different classes of people and elevate people above one another and create division uh, while doing so. If we uh, just go back to the Constitution, it's really simple. We are all equal under the law. Uh, and if, if it's really protecting religious freedoms, then why didn't we include the Hyde amendment in there? Why are we using tax dollars to fund abortions? Why are we forcing doctors to perform abortions who don't want to? Um, so I mean, that statement is is garbage, like most of the stuff that comes from that side of the aisle in the House of Representatives, unfortunately. Uh, but if really government stopped for a second and said, hmm, maybe we aren't smarter than the American people, uh, and, and just kind of pull back on the reins a little bit and let Americans live their lives, uh, we can get rid of this divisive behavior. And and, uh, and these ridiculous laws that they are trying to pass that replace mom and dad with bureaucrats. The Equality Act is not equal for anyone, Shannon. I, I, you've seen it, you've read it, you've debated it, we, we, we've discussed this, and it, it puts little girls at risk, uh, allowing confused men to go into women's restrooms. I, I mean, I don't want little girls, you know, watching their back, seeing if a, a man is trying to catch a peek at them, and it, they've fundamentally ended girls' sports in a America. Now uh, uh, girls have to be worried about being outplayed by a boy and losing a potential scholarship. Or what about the man who has now crushed two women's skulls in the MMA fighting ring? Uh, this Equality Act is anything but equality. Well, it's now being debated in the Senate, and the two sides with uh, very specific interests are going to hash that conversation out there as well. Really quickly before we go, I want to ask you about uh, Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks. She's been seated in Iowa. Her challenger, the Democrat who lost, uh, I mean, she was certified by the state, Miller Meeks mm -hmm. was, and she was sworn into the House, uh, has now appealed to the House Administrative Committee uh, to review those votes. It was a six vote margin. It's a close one. She didn't go to court. She's come to this House committee uh, potentially to unseat a sitting member of Congress who has had a certified election. Uh, quickly, your thoughts on that? I really believe that the Democrats just hate women. Uh, this is a war on women. Uh, they've, they've ended women's sports with their uh, Equality Out Act here. They're trying to steal an elect election from Marionette Miller Meeks. They have unseated a female representative in the GOP. Uh, this is a full on attack on, con on, on women and mainly conservative women. There were more women elected to the GOP than ever before. And it's because we've been watching Democrats. We've been watching how they message. We've been watching their policy 
how they communicate, and so many of us stepped up to win our elections in 2020 because we are saying the Democrat Party and their women who they have elected do not represent me. They do not represent my country, the country I know and love and will soon send my children out into. Look, Shannon, I am so happy and proud to be the first woman and the first mom to represent Colorado's third district, but that's not why I was elected. Republicans don't play these gender identity politics, uh, but Democrats certainly do, and uh, they can't stand when strong women win their seats and challenge their narrative. So they do anything that they can to try to destroy and even remove us by stealing an election from people like Marionette M Miller Meeks. And, and just to note, her Democratic challenger who wants that seat is also a woman. It now sits with this committee in the House. We will track it. Uh, Congressman Bobert, thank you for joining us tonight. Good to Thanks see you. Thanks so much, Shannon.